good. For all the attendees that have uh, made the time to come and join us today, thank you very much. The MP team welcomes you to our webinar on running effective meetings. Uh, we've got quite a tight, tight schedule for the next hour, so I'm going to keep the introduction pretty brief. Everyone, every one of us, hopefully in attendance, has experienced one bad meeting at least, or a few bad meetings. So we've got by now some idea of what a bad meeting looks like, but we're going to try and paint a bit of a different picture today. Meetings that typically are pointless, and meetings that, that, that take way too long to get through, uh, meetings where people are not prepared for, uh, meetings where people leave the meeting and say, well, what the hell do I do now? What are my actions? You know, what, are, what do I have to go and get done? And the list goes on. So it's really painful for some people, for some organizations. So it's, it's common. And execs and business managers and senior managers kind of go into a mode of saying, well, this is the standard pain of running a business. And that's not true. We don't believe that's true. Okay, so meetings don't have to carry that negative uh, stigma. So the positive for you sitting on the, on, as an attendee today is that you are experiencing bad meetings. You have a giant opportunity, a spectacular opportunity for improvement. Can you imagine meetings that are shorter but more impactful? Ones where the people are taking decisions faster with more confidence. Uh, quicker communication on those meetings on issues before they turn into giant problems. Um, people being more accountable and more engaged, leading to better performance of teams, um, keeping teams in those meetings aligned to the overall business goals and objectives. Okay, so ultimately, those are the good things that we should be able to look forward to in meetings. Um, so ultimately, at the end of this webinar today, we, we want to paint a picture for you that of what a good meeting could actually look like. And we also want to give you, or introduce you to some tools, which we'll also share uh, after the webinar with you, to start getting leaders and your, and your managers inside your organizations better at running meetings, running more effective meetings. So that's ultimately what we aim to achieve today. Okay, so the plan in, in order to get to that point is gonna be, first of all, a bad meeting uh, mock that we're gonna be running with uh, our panelists. So our panelists have all been prepped and are ready to run a terrible meeting for everybody in attendance to be entertained and uh, to observe. We're going to then, after the bad meeting, we'll go into, uh, let's say, use one of our coaching tools at least to, to do an assessment on that bad meeting. Then we're going to start to introduce you to some tools, okay, to run more effective meetings, meeting profiles, code of conducts, logging smart tasks and meetings. And using those tools, we're going to then redo that meeting in a better way and see how we can actually improve using those tools. So let's get started with the ugly version of our weekly operations meeting. So let's get started with, with Jess. Um, you guys, I'm waiting for Pierre, Alistair and David. Did any of them say that they were going to be late? No, not sure where they are. This is a third week in a row that we have started this meeting late. I could be doing other things right now. My time is more valuable than this, guys. Yeah, mine too. I've got an order to prepare for. Hi guys, how is it? How is it? Did you start Hello. already? Hello. Hey, I'm going to start early today. Mm. Welcome. Uh, uh, well, this business is a sinking ship. I, if I don't start to sing more out of all of you, then we are done. We are the meeting minutes, Jess. I mailed them to the team this morning. Uh, using the South African Postal Service. They should be printed out before the meeting. Alistair, where are, where are we with my datas? I can't buy raw materials because we are still waiting for the customers to pay us. Oh, I sent it to you yesterday. I sent the age analysis report to you yesterday already. No, oh, I don't have the time to read your report. I need a summary. You know, I can't give it to you now. I'll have to work on it after this meeting, later today, possibly. Well, in the future, I'll have the summary ready in the meeting. Oh, by the way, who's taking the minutes? To me as usual, Pierre. So what a stereotype, guys. What is it, why does it always have to be Jess or any other female for that matter? We are males here. We have a brain and we've got 10 fingers. I'll do the minutes today, Pierre. Okay, whatever. Okay, David, have, you, have we started production on the order for Sportsman's Warehouse? No, Pierre, no. We've had other orders to get out today. David, are you kidding me? I promised him delivery by the end of this week. Come on. Craig, it's not possible. Why did you promise a delivery date without asking for my input first? Listen, David, I'm, not, I'm on the front line, 
Okay, you get to sit here with your people behind walls. Don't speak to me like that. You need to give me better notice. And we have a wee problem. The raw materials aren't even here. You know, I'm not a magician. Oh. Oh, you two need to sort out your stuff. In the meantime, we have a customer expecting delivery on Friday. Make it happen, David. Oh, okay. I need to go to another meeting. Al, you take over. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, what's next on the agenda? No, I don't know. Ask Jess. Okay, Greg, we are behind on sales budget. Um, what are we doing about it? Uh, we've got back orders to make up the gaps. Don't worry. Okay, and what's the back order total? I don't have that exact figure, Al. I'm working on it. I'll email it to you afterwards. Sorry, guys. That's, that's my phone. Sorry. Bye-bye. Hello, David speaking. Oh, gosh. I guess it's the last we'll hear from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's not good, Jess. How is your planning going for the audit? Yeah, Michelle, did you watch an episode of um, his post here? Who's lying anyway to last night? The meeting, but I will mail to by the SA Business Service instead. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, so funny. I wonder yeah. what next week's one will be. Okay. Um, really good. It's really good. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys, sorry. Mm, this is not good, eh? Sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll. I'm just sighing. I mean, okay. So I guess that's it. Does everyone know what to do? Yeah. Uh, yep, working on it. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so okay, thanks. let's get on with it then. Wow, okay, so that let's let's break that scene. Guys, that was terrible. I'm actually uh, it was it was super painful for me. It must have been painful for you. So uh, the good news is it doesn't look like anybody's left the webinar in, in <laughs> terror and fear. So that's a good sign. Okay, so, so this is one of our coaching tools that we use to observe and feedback to chair people um, to assist them to improve uh, their meetings, okay, over time. So we start with the, the top part of the tool. Um, I am hope everybody can see the screen. But we've got 10, 10 criteria, 10 areas that we basically assess uh, for, for meetings. The first one really starts with punctuality, okay, talking about the meeting starting and ending on time and the players being prepared. So in this particular case, the meeting did start late. There was clear evidence of that. And it appeared that everybody wasn't really prepared for the meeting, okay? So that's, that's a flat out no. Meetings that are late, as if you can see in the remarks, they're generally going to have timing issues throughout the entire meeting. Um, number two, we, we have items, a very, very important critical part of a meeting is having a previous action list from the last meeting that needs to be reviewed uh, to see if there were decent enough actions that followed. If we don't have that, even the minutes weren't available in this case. So the answer to that one in this particular meeting is a flat out no. There was nothing available in order to allow the participants nor the chairperson to go back and see if actions were adequately completed from the last meeting. Number three deals with mainly with your performance management. So looking at KPI charts, KBRs, et cetera. So it's really performance, which, which we didn't do in this particular session because of time constraints. The next one really is looking at the participation and courage from all team members. We don't want to have passengers. In this case, the answer was yes, but it wasn't necessarily positive. It was peer really firing shots at everybody in the meeting and no one was immune to that, to that wrath, like you said. So, that was encouragement of participation from all the different members of the team. Um, giving Number five, giving recognition for contributions. This is now focusing on the chairperson showing respect to the different team members. And by asking for, let's say just congratulating, or let's say saying well done, where reasonably possible for doing the work that they're doing and contributing to the meeting. Okay, so it's, it's really that respect element from the leader. In the, meeting. the next one sits at, or focuses more on the, the, the meeting being absolutely laser sharp focused where there was a meeting agenda that was followed, uh, where people were, uh, people were sticking to that agenda and not having tangential or let's say long discussions to go on a tangent, um, you know, separating other discussions into meetings that will be scheduled in the future, et cetera. And this was not the case with our meeting. We did not see an agenda. No, agenda wasn't being followed. And quite frankly, a lot of people, peer being one, uh, dominated the meeting. Okay, so there was not the, 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 they said the sharing in of information from different team members. It really was one person dominating the meeting. Number seven, we talk about 
major issues or problems being reported by the, by the team, essentially by exception. So this is a good thing. So if, if, if problems, major problems are reported by exception and people mainly bringing solutions to the table rather than just the problem, that's got to be encouraged in meetings. And unfortunately, in this case, we saw that Pierre had pretty much a problem with absolutely everything that went on in the meeting. Okay, so problems really that were reported in the meeting were not really from the people themselves, but actually from peer having a problem with people not doing, not doing what they should. Number eight has really got to do with, let's say, a code of conduct, having a code of conduct for the meeting. People, uh, players in the meeting, respecting each other, showing dignity, and not using any foul language or body language for that matter. Okay, so we've got to respect each other in meetings and be civil. Um, I don't I think that's probably something that's lacking in most meetings these days. Um, even, even worse so when they're remote and digitized like we've seen in, in the past few weeks. Then the last two items are quite straightforward. Was this was sufficient time allowed for each item on the agenda? And that in this case was no, there was no agenda to start off with, but essentially to improve on our meetings, to ensure that they don't run over, we've got to revisit and see if we're allowing enough time for each item on our agenda. Okay, so it's a continuous improvement effort. And then finally, were the meeting objectives achieved by the chairperson? So here we're looking at essentially having all tasks, smart tasks, which we'll look at, um, and decisions being logged by a scribe, by a person taking those minutes in the meeting and then reviewed after the meeting. That did not happen. People left the meeting with absolutely no clue as to what they were going to have to do next. So as far as I'm concerned, the, flat, the answer is no. The meeting was objectives were not achieved by the chairperson. So that's really the 10 criteria that we list and basically giving us a first glimpse of what this meeting was all about. So the meeting ob observations and recommendations go into a little bit more depth. So there's three recommendations, at least observations and recommendations coming out of this from a coaching perspective. The first one being the idea about this, the punctuality and the meeting starting on time. So the observation was the meeting started late and ran over. There was no meeting agenda to begin with. So there was nothing for the, for the, for the people to follow in terms of an agenda or plan. The chairperson appeared to address items at random, okay, having no plan in place, and this led to some unfocused discussion. Okay, so our meeting was not focused. So the recommendation is to start to arrive early for the meeting. Don't leave it to the last minute. Arrive 10, five to 10 minutes ahead of the meeting start time. Create a meeting profile. Okay, Pierre's gonna go through this in the next few minutes, but essentially having a meeting purpose, the right players in the meeting, the right preparation requirements, and the right meeting plan, which is the agenda. And then even moving forward from this, we can assign a challenge to the team in the meeting to say, let's try and end this meeting on time and cover all agenda items and slowly work towards that goal. Okay, so that's a bit of a, bit of a, a, less, a, less, a less strict, um, it's a recommendation, but a challenge always works generally. So if we look at the next re recommendation, the observation was essentially around how we, what was logged and what was reviewed during the meeting. Um, there were no minutes from the previous meeting. Okay, there was no action list uh, from the previous meeting. So people didn't know how to, what, what was supposed to be reviewed. There was no evidence of people actually getting around to doing what they should, have do, should be doing from the last meeting. So statements such as, I'll work on it and I'll mail it to you, don't really promote the confidence we need towards uh, commitment and accountability. And essentially no decisions or actions in this meeting mock and the bad meeting mock were documented okay, during the meeting. That's a big problem. So we've got to start looking at having actions and tasks from previous meetings that are actually visible to all members. We've got to be able to review those tasks to see if sufficient action was taken against each task. And then all decisions and actions that we have during the meeting that we discuss need to be logged, of course. And these should be smart, which we'll go through in, uh, as part of this, as part of one of our tools that we're going to introduce you today. So smart meaning specific, measurable, achievable, relevant or realistic and time bound. Okay, we're going to go through in a bit more depth a little bit later. And then finally, to look at the, the part that everybody appeared to, the, well, let's say at least the chairperson had a problem with everybody in the meeting, okay, and eventually left the meeting. So he just, he just, see, he just saw everything, every single report as a problem. Um, David took a call during the meeting, and he left, and he never returned. Greg and Michelle, myself and Michelle, <laughs> had a sideline conversation during the meeting. That's a sign of disrespect. So we talk about let's implement a code of conduct for the meeting a standard code of conduct for all meetings in, more meetings in our organization. And the chairperson must give each head of department the respect uh, to give their feedback from their respective departments. So that's, that's a typical coaching tool that we have that we can, that all of you could use in future to, let's say, assess your meetings that you're a part of 
and to start making recommendations to, um, to the leaders inside your organization. So yeah, so that's, that's really going through that uh, assessment tool. Next, I'm gonna hand over to Pierre um, just to go through the, uh, let's say the, the meeting profile that we spoke about during the assessment. Pierre, over to you. So Greg, uh, firstly, I want to apologize. I actually didn't realize I was such a bully. So, but thank you for the, for the coaching feedback. Um, uh, keep on coaching me. I'm sure we'll, we'll, I'll get better, hopefully. 